In this video, we're going to talk about um, some examples of where we remove parentheses and simplify. So all we're going to do is get rid of these parentheses and then combine like terms. The main issue is that when you have a negative out here, it has to be distributed through the parentheses. So you can't leave anything out. Just as if you had a number down at like negative 6 here. All right, so I want to distribute through this negative. If you don't get the negative distributed through, then you won't get it right. So this ends up being 2x plus 7x. And then if I distribute the negative, I get minus 4x and a minus 6. And now from here, I combine like terms. Remember, I can combine it terms as long as the variables look exactly alike. Here I have an x, here I have an x, here I have an x. 2x plus 7x gives me 9x, but then take away 4x, it becomes 5x. And then here I have the negative 6. Okay, let's do one more example. If there's nothing out front to distribute, you basically just drop your parentheses, such as here. But now here I need to distribute the 6. But keep in mind, if there is a negative in front of the number, we want to keep it together. So I'm distributing the negative 6 through. Okay. Don't just distribute through 6, you've got to distribute negative 6. One way to remember this is the sign always goes to the thing it's right to the left of, okay, right next to, to the left of. Negative 6 times 2x gives me a minus 12x. Negative 6 times a negative 4y gives me a positive 24y. And negative 6 times negative 10 gives me the positive 60. And now I'm ready to combine like terms. I've got a minus 8x and a minus 12x. They combine to give me minus 20x. I've got a 5y and a 24y. They're going to combine to give me 29y. And then I have a negative 12 and a positive 60. They're going to combine to give me 48. So that would be my final answer, minus 20x plus 29y plus 48.